Hey guys, today is February the 12th, and in the mail today, we got another box. So, this is a big one. This is my Black Friday order from Black Sight Studios. And yes, I said it is February 12th, and this is my Black Friday order. But, once you see what's inside, it's going to be worth the wait. They had some crazy deals on Black Friday. They had some BOGO stuff where you buy a building, you get a building, you buy a kit, you get another part of that kit for free. So I went ahead and took advantage of that. And let's cut into this and I'll show you what I got. All right, and I know you can't smell it, but it smells like terrain, right? So, start on top. We have the large billboard kit. Now, the majority of these kits are gonna be used for uh, my Walking Dead All Out War game. And if you haven't seen any of my battle reports, there's gonna be a link up there. Go over and check them out. Uh, Lots and lots of Black Sight Studio stuff used inside of there so you can see it used in context. This is the large billboard. This is gonna give you some nice height on your set. So we got one of these. Got a set of street lamps. Again, these will be used for Walking Dead, but Batman, Specter Ops, uh, anything modern day, right? Or older than that you can use these four these will be great so excited about these you get six of these inside of here should go together pretty simple this was one of the BOGO deals so this is the Beaumont residence uh, I don't remember offhand what kit this is based off of um, I'll put a pop down there and let you know but this is basically the bombed out version of another kit. So if you're doing a scenario campaign and you have uh, you know, an early campaign or an early scenario and you have the intact house and then you go back and revisit it, you can have the bombed out version or the destroyed version of it. So looking forward to this one. And like I said, that was with this Miller residence. So the Black Friday deal was buy the Miller residence, pick another kit that you want it for free. So bought this, got this for free. And this I believe is the Brown family farmhouse. Just not whole, right? So that's basically what the Brown Family Farmhouse looks like. And then it's destroyed. Really looking forward to putting these together. Lots and lots of fun. And maybe some frustration to be had with all these tiny little pieces. But it's gonna be cool. I'm excited about that. So we got two uh, destroyed houses. And then, like I said, these are gonna be big for Walking Dead. So the campaign that I'm currently playing through, I'm at the prison. And then after the prison, they make it to Woodbury. So I bought some of these. I thought these would go really well for making like townhouses or row houses to have inside of there. And again, these would be really great for a game of Batman, right? So you get a couple of these and you put these guys up together and you got yourself some nice row houses. The guys can jump into them. You can put dudes on top of them. It's be good for Crisis Protocol. Also, you know, the new Marvel game. Uh, these work really well for that. Maybe even bolt action. I guess these could be like older houses that you could use for something like that. Um, but this is going to be cool. Looking forward to having these paired up with the street lamps and then maybe the billboard off in the back. So just have to pick a design to go onto the billboard. I got a couple things floating around in my mind for that. Um, but yeah, that was the Black Friday order. So again, two of the 84, uh, we're gonna say major street townhouses. 
the big Miller residence destroyed house. The Beaumont resident destroyed house, some street lamps, and a large billboard. So I'm really excited I got this in the mail today. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can get the reviews that I'll put up when I get these buildings put together. And I'm also going to do a video on how I clean and prep these and then assemble them as well. Not really a, a build video, but I'm not a big fan of the, the burnt MDF smell or the laser cut MDF smell. So how do I try and get rid of that? Or what do I do to get rid of that before I even put the model together? What do I use to put it together as far as glues and clamps and things like that? And then once I'm finished, how do I get back and get the model ready for the tabletop? So look for those, look for reviews of these, go over and watch the videos of the reviews for the other black side kits that I already have up. And then ultimately you can see these in the battle reports in use on the tabletop themselves. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.